And we're continuing to monitor the board's recent decision and how it's affecting Columbia families tonight. Some Columbia parents spent today adapting to a change in how their elementary school kids will return to the classroom next week. ABC 17's Ryan Cleveland spoke with some CPS families today to get their opinions about last night's decision. The Columbia Board of Education's decision to send some students back to class has some families feeling happy, but also some families feel let down. I'm happy that they're going back. Um, something is better than nothing. I, I think there's absolutely no reason that they shouldn't be able to go five days a week. CPS parent Leslie Heath said she is happy that her first grader will be able to return to classrooms next week, even though she is high risk. Heath said even though students will not be able to social distance, it doesn't worry her. It doesn't worry me. Um, my daughter is high risk um, because she has cystic fibrosis. Um, but she's been going to a daycare where they have not been wearing masks and have not been social distancing, and she's been fine. Heath said middle school and high school students deserve to go back as well. I just feel like they're letting those kids down. But Chastity Sanders has a sister that is a high school student, and she agrees with the board's vote for older students. I think for the rest of the school year, I think it's a lot more safer. They can pick up and go back to school next year. Now the board made the decision for middle school students and high school students to continue with online learning until further notice. Reporting in Columbia, Ryan Cleveland, ABC 17 News. And new case rates have dropped considerably since the start of school, which paved the way for the board's decision yesterday. The University of